This is 3.7 muscle and nerve tissue notes. The essential question is, compare and contrast the three types of muscle tissue and what are the components of the nerve tissue and what is its function. Recall that muscle tissue is used for movement, not only in change of body position, but also movement of materials inside the body. There are several terms used to refer to muscle cells. One word is myofiber, specifically used in skeletal muscle. And another word is myocyte, which refers to muscle cells in either cardiac and smooth muscle. There are three types of muscle tissue. The first one is called skeletal muscle. Cells in the skeletal muscles are long and they're cylindrical or tube shape and they have many laterally located nuclei and look at the picture on the side notice that the nuclei are all near the cell membrane on the outside and sometimes what happens is the nuclei will actually make it it will bulge out of the muscle cell another thing about cells of the skeletal muscle is that they run parallel to one another they kind of lie side by side. They also have something called striation which are a fancy way of saying stripes. Skeletal muscle gets its name from the location. They're attached to the skeleton. That's why they're named skeletal muscle. The function of skeletal muscle is for voluntary body movement. Voluntary means that you are actually controlling the muscle. Features of skeletal muscle, remember they are cylindrical and tube shaped and they run parallel to each other. They lie side by side. They have multiple nuclei or they're called multinucleated and they're all toward the outside near the cell membrane. The last thing is that they have striations, the dark and light bands. These are called striations. Here is an actual photo of a muscle, skeletal muscle tissue. Notice the, the light and dark bands. These are your striations. Note that one muscle fiber or muscle cell is this one tube shape cell. And notice that the nuclei are all situated on the outer layer of the muscle fiber or muscle cell and there are multiple multiple nuclei. The second type of muscle tissue is the cardiac muscle. Like the skeletal muscle tissue, the cardiac muscle cells are tubular in shape, but what is very distinct about the cardiac muscle is that they are branch. If you look at the diagram below, notice that one branch or one tube leads splits into two and that's what you notice about cardiac muscle. Here's another one. See how it starts off as one and they split into two. That is what's meant by branching. Something that is different from skeletal muscle is that they only have one single nuclei per muscle cell. So each individual muscle cell or myocyte have their own nuclei and they're centrally located. They're in the center. Another feature that is unique to cardiac muscle is that it's not found in any other muscle tissue is the intercalated disc and these are these blue lines that you see. These are the separation between each of the myocyte in cardiac muscle. And like skeletal muscle, they have striations. So you can kind of faintly see these little stripes those are your striations. The location of the cardiac muscle is it forms the wall of the heart. That's where it gets the name. Cardiac refers to heart. Function of the cardiac muscle tissue is to pump blood throughout the body. And then one more thing that is different between skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle tissue is that cardiac muscle tissue is involuntary, which means you have no control over it. It is automatic. Features of the cardiac cells or cardiac muscle tissue 
is that they start off as one tube and then they split into two. That's what we refer to as branching. They have one centrally located nuclei per cell. These are all the dark areas are your nuclei. And the one thing that separates cardiac muscle from all the other tissue is that they have intercalated discs, which are these dark bands. They're much darker than the striations. And then if you look closely, you see all these light dark bands. Those are your striations. Here's an actual photo of a muscle tissue slide. Notice that the centrally located nuclei per cell. You can very faintly see the striations, which are these light and dark bands. And it's kind of hard to tell, but notice that this cell starts as one, and then they split into two. So that's why you know that it's branching. And if you are still not sure that this was cardiac muscle tissue, you look for the intercalated disc. The intercalated disc are these dark bands that you see. Those are your intercalated discs. That's a sure giveaway that it's cardiac muscle tissue. The third type of muscle tissue is the smooth muscle tissue, and it gets its name from its appearance in actual muscle tissue slide. Unlike the other two muscle tissue, they are short and they have a spindle shaped, which means they start off thick in the middle and then they get thinner toward the ends. So these are all your spindle shapes. Like the cardiac muscle tissue, they also have single centrally located nuclei. So each one of these spindle shaped cells Myocyte contain a nucleus. Unlike cardiac and skeletal muscle, they do not have striations. Locations of smooth muscle is they surround hollow organs such as blood vessels and digestive tract. Also, the muscles around the pupil of the eye that controls how much light goes in and out of the um, eyes are also controlled by smooth muscle. Function of smooth muscle is movement within the body and like the cardiac muscle tissue, it is involuntary, which means that you have no control over it. Features of smooth muscle tissue is notice the spindle shaped cells. They have single centrally located nuclei. and they do not have striations. Notice that the smooth muscle tissue has the smooth flowing kind of appearance. That's where it gets its name. You can definitely see the nuclei are these oval shaped centrally located structures. It's kind of hard to see the shape of the cells, but you can kind of see that they're spindle shaped and they're all kind of packaged together. That's what you're looking at. Okay, so the spindle shape, that's what gives the a smooth flowing kind of motion. Also, notice that there is no striations in smooth muscle. The last type of tissue is the nerve tissue. Nerve tissues are made up of neurons, which are your nerve cells. Function of nerve tissue is to send and receive information from one area and then send it to another area. Parts of the neuron are the dendrites, which are these branching portions. They receive information from either other neurons or other parts of the body, and they send it to the cell body. The cell body receives information from the dendrites, and they send it down the axon. Then axon is usually the long portion of the neuron, and their job is to send the information down, receive from the cell body and send it down to the, the axonal terminal or the ends of the neuron and then sends it to another neuron or other parts of the body. So here's your axon. Here's your cell body containing the nucleus. And the nucleus is in the red. And then usually this end portion of the 
neuron is called the axonal terminal. Another part of the nerve tissue is something called neuroglia. Neuroglia are cells that support and protect the neuron. Distinct features of the nerve tissue is that you see the neuron have these branches created by the dendrites. They send information to the cell body which contain the nucleus. And the longest branch is usually called the, it is the axon, which then receive information from the cell body and to send this down the axon. These tiny dots surrounding the neuron, those are your neuro neuroglial cells. Here's another picture. Notice the branches are your dendrites. The main portion is your cell body, the dark area in the middle, that's your nuclei, and the longest branch, that's your axon. Then all of these tiny little dots that you see, these are your neuroglial cells. Or neuroglia. The 3.7 homework assignment is, number one, what are the similarities between the three types of muscle tissue? Number two, what are the differences between the three types of muscle tissue? Number three, how does the structure of a NIF tissue determine its function?